So I've done a few projects, DIY projects, for Steve Stucker's charity beds for kids, but I've never done a project with Steve until now. And together, we added some character to a front stoop at a beautiful home in Corrales. Take a look. We're here, we're finally doing this. Tell me about this house. Well, this old house of beautiful territorial style in Corrales belonged to two wonderful friends of mine for over 30 years, identical twin sisters who have both passed away and I'm the executor of the estate. They left all of their money to charity, so I've been remodeling this for the past couple of months, getting ready to put it on the market and you're gonna add the finishing touches. And I'm really excited about your idea that I never would have come up with. Hey. We're adding thin brick veneers to the concrete step. So you'll need those flat brick pieces and the edge bricks. And those edgers were only available online, not in stores. And shipping did take a lot of time. You'll also need mortar or cement adhesive, a caulking gun, a tile saw and safety glasses, also a tape measure. There are two different ways that you can lay these bricks down. The traditional way would be to leave a gap here to pipe in And then some put grout in between? Right. Okay. But we wanted to do it to match the patio bricks over here. Where they're very tight together. Yeah. Almost. What we're going to do first is just dry lay them to see how it's all going to fit. Oh my gosh, look at it already. <laughs> <gasps> Are you excited? We haven't even done anything yet. Uh, you know what, we're gonna get to the end and we're gonna miss it by that much. <laughs> That's the way it always works out for me. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Dry laying the bricks took a lot of time, but it is so important to get the layout and the spacing right. Do yeah, do? what do you think? I think it looks great it's already. It's beautiful, right? Are we and done it, now? It, <laughs> you can try to walk on it if you want. <laughs> to attach them, we started with trying to use the powdered mortar that you mix with water. But we quickly learned it's going to take several bags of that, and it was really messy to apply. So after trying it out on all the edger pieces, it was a no for both of us. That's when we switched to the glue adhesive that comes out with a caulking gun. So much easier, faster, cleaner, and it bonded almost instantly. I made the first half of the cut while Steve laid the edge bricks. A little DIY tip for you, Danielle. I forgot my knee pads, but luckily, oh. I never go anywhere without my beach towel. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, much oh better. relief. Then I let Steve give his knees a rest and showed him how to use the tile saw. Wait, you have glasses on? Okay, you're good. Okay. So push in and push down. Uh huh. Oh, me and power tools just do not do that. It's worth it. <laughs> After that nonsense, we hit our group. Perfect. Good enough? Yeah, it's great. Great until Steve brought a bee with him. Oh, I'm not messing around with her. I also had a challenge with a special cut around the door frame. Yay! Oh, come look. Let's see. Let's see. Nice job. Come down here. Look at that. Look at that handiwork. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're kind of good at this. You ought it's, to be on TV or something. It's just 28 cuts. <laughs> So, how'd we do, huh? She, she had me down on my knees working all afternoon. You said you were going to bring knee pads. It came out so cute, so yeah. cool looking. And, you know, I, I honestly, I never would have thought of it. And it really does class the place up. And uh, yeah. thank you. I, you know, it was just, and, you know, I always get people asking me, especially guys that are friends of mine, well, is that Danielle? Does she really know what she's doing <laughs> on these projects? And, and now I can say, yes, she does. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. And she puts you to work too. Yeah, right Joy, now. she's been waiting to show <laughs> me a thing around. or two since she came on this show <laughs> years ago. That was that was pretty fun. And and you know my friends uh, Nancy and and Ann, the, the sisters, they yeah. left everything to charity. So when I get oh, this sold, I get to write some very big checks to their church.